always has some really, really, really clean breads. Breads. He has some really clean. He has some really clean braids, all right? But this is when it comes down to the line, all right? This is where we really find out who's ranked number one and with the next person that we're gonna be showing is gonna tell us who's number one in AMP, all right? And this was a tough decision for me. I was like, this person's number one. Then I'm like, ah, I feel like his number one. Let me give you guys five seconds, all right? Comment down below who you think is number two and who you think is number one. Because we already seen in the first episode, we see the agent, he is number five, all right? Then we had Davis up next at number four. Then we have Phantom right here with number three because he had the cleanest braids on YouTube. Now we're getting into number two, which is Kaisenat. Kaisenat has some dope dreadlocks. He does the two shine twist, does a twist out, has a clean fade, clean lineup, all around just clean looking hair. He had a really cool journey as well. You guys can go check out the dread reviews I've done of him. And overall, really clean dreads. Now, how is he number two? I know, I know, I know. I feel like he should have been number one. That's what I felt originally, but I'm gonna tell you my number one here shortly after we look at Kai Sinatra's dreadlocks. I mean, just look at his dreads. They look really clean. He reminds me a lot of Polo G's dreadlocks. Also, for some reason, and let me know if you guys agree with me, he reminds me a lot of Ace Hood's dreadlocks as well. Ace Hood's, I don't even know if Ace Hood's still around, but that's what he reminds me of a little bit. And for everyone who's watching this series right now, this is part two, and this is actually the last part of the series. The reason I'm doing this ranking of AMP dreadlocks is because I know a lot of you guys like watch AMP. And crazy enough, I had some of the AMP guys reach out to me, like uh, Kaisenat right here, and also Duke Dennis. But I think it's the moment we've all been waiting for, guys. Who's number one? You guys already know who's number one. Why am I even asking y'all? Let's get into it. I'm gonna leave you guys some time, okay? Maybe you think there's someone else in AMP that has dreadlocks, but I wanna hear you guys' thoughts, all right? Since we're already at number two, I wanna hear your ranking of the AMP hairstyles, okay? From one to five, drop your comment down below on your ranking, all right? I feel like you guys are still typing. You're probably on number three right now, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more time, all right? And looking at your rankings, <laughs> that's pretty good, but let's get into number one. Number one in the ranking is Duke Dennis. Yes, he does have starter locks, and he, every time I watch this uh, dreadlock reveal, it's always funny, man, because at first you see him a little uncomfortable, and it's just interesting, guys. And a lot of people deal with that. And I, I mentioned this in the last Duke Dennis, or not the last Duke Dennis video, I don't think. But in the video of Duke Dennis, one of them, he's revealing his dreadlocks. And, and obviously the video is titled Duke Dennis Ugly Dreadlocks. But the reason I titled that video that way is because a lot of people think they have ugly dreadlocks. And at the beginning of that video, I go ahead and knock that off and said, you know what, you have some dope looking lock. And especially now, like the progression and his dreadlocks are going so fast. But the reason he's number one, guys, is because I see the potential. With his hair, he has a full set of dreads. With Kai Sinai, he has a high top fade, he gets the fades on the sides and he gets the lineup and everything like that. One thing we haven't seen with Duke Dennis, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna probably see in the future, he might do a taper fade. And even if he doesn't do the taper fade, I think just the lineup is gonna make it a whole lot cleaner, which in this video alone, he mentioned that he didn't get a lineup yet or even a fade or anything like that. But overall, it looks like he has about maybe a hundred dreadlocks on his head. And the cool thing about it is, is he has a full set of dreads. And I just think full set is, is the way to go, especially if you wanna keep your dreadlocks long-term. And even if you uh, don't wanna keep them long-term, um, it's just good. Say you get a full set of dreads and then you wanna to go to a high top fade, you can always move to that. But to go from a high top fade dreadlocks to a full set of dreadlocks, you have to like grow out the sides and then trim the length on the top to make it all even out. But as you guys see in the background, these are like some old photos of Duke Dennis with the dreadlocks. This is probably what we're gonna be expecting. And overall, they look really clean. I feel like now with the times of people with more people with dreadlocks, we're gonna see with different hairstyles and like that. That's why I'm saying Duke Dennis is number one right now because I'm looking at the potential of his lock journey. And even now, like let's skip to this really quick. So this is more recent. His locks have grown a little bit, but at the same time, just give it a few months. Like, like within the next few months, we're gonna see them mature even a whole lot more. It's just gonna look really clean. Another thing we see with the people that Duke Dennis hangs out with, and it's probably the reason why he got dreadlocks in the first place is a lot of them have uh, dreadlocks like both of those guys in the background have dreadlocks uh this guy has dreadlocks they all have dreadlocks literally kais and i has dreadlocks but you guys that's the ranking i have i want to hear your rankings down below remember from five all the way to one i want to see your comments so that i can compare my lists to your list and if your list matches comment that down